Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing a good all get ready with me video. I'm gonna show you my recent favorite product, my techniques and my routine when I do wear my kind of like everyday makeup because for me, it's either all or nothing. I'll either be without makeup at all or with this, which is considered a full glam, but not really. Like to me, this is my everyday makeup, so yeah i hope you enjoy this and i hope you like this video good morning guys it's been so long since i've done one of these videos and i'm actually so excited to show you how i've been doing my makeup lately i don't really wear makeup that much anymore just because my work doesn't require it anymore but i thought it'd be fun to show you what i do it hasn't really changed that much since my last video but the products have changed and my skin is looking different so i'm a little bit conflicted on whether i should show you my brows or not because if you watch my previous videos me and my brows do not we're not friends i don't know what i'm gonna do with them anymore all i want is skinny cute brows but i don't know i don't know what's going on i'm using the mac eyebrow styler in the shade stylized it's my favorite shade because it's quite like an ashy blondish brown i don't like dark brows in me at all so i'm like lightly filling them in i've already done my skincare by the way skincare is the most important thing to a good base to a good makeup base i've been using this moisturizer right here this is the isn't tree hyaluronic acid equal gel cream moisturizer the best thing i've ever used along with some other k-beauty serums and toners and of course sunscreen i keep saying that in every video wear your sunscreen even if you're not going out of the house the sun can still see you this is my favorite it's a b-lab match hydrating real sunscreen i always start with my eyes because i want to get them out of the way so i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer and use this primer i have never used an eye primer in my entire life i don't think and i don't think i'll ever do just because i like the concealer and i don't feel like i do anything crazy with my eyes so i'm gonna use my holy grail palette it's a kyla cosmetic matte palette which is stunning you got every color you'd ever need for a nice matte base my go-to colors have been nude and shadow because they're a little bit more cool tone than the rest and i do prefer a cool tone color on me all i do is i just Slap it on. I'm not gonna lie, just put it everywhere. Just all I want to do is create a little bit of shade in my eyes. Why? Oh, it's so dark. As you can see, I've been doing a lot more book themed videos on my channel, so I thought I'll do a good old get ready with me, my everyday makeup. I feel like I found my niche. Is that a thing on YouTube? Like all I want to do is vlog, talk about books, talk about makeup clothes fashion this light and i feel like i found what i love filming and talking about and i know a lot of them have been book based videos but it's been my hyper fixation <laughs> lately like all i do is read books and watch book vlogs that is all i do and you know what my mental health has been so much better i'm using the base shade now just on my inner lid to brighten up a little bit i can never go without eyeliner like if you see me without eyeliner and i got makeup on something is going wrong i've tried it it doesn't work and this is my holy grail i will die on this hill it's the mac brush black liquid eyeliner it's like a little and i'm obsessed with it like i can't tell you what crack is in this liner i don't know it's just this is like my fifth sixth i don't even know i love it Sometimes I'll say, oh, I'll do like a little wing, a little natural wing. Sometimes this happens and I'm like, we'll just roll with it for the day. Just some things that have been in my head recently. First of all, I want to dye my hair. I haven't dyed my hair black in months, probably since summer. And we're now in April. And I think this is crazy. Like, I want a black hair or dye. By the way, I'm curling my eyelashes with the MAC lash curler i think it's one of the best ones out there i can't without curling my eyelashes and i'm gonna use the mac extending play mascara i've been loving this recently because it just gives me length i'm not really crazy about the volume i just want the length mm. yeah i'm going to grace 
it's in a few weeks so i'm gonna go get a haircut because you know when you go back to your home country and then you book all the appointments like haircut and nails all the doctors like that's how it is everything in the uk is so expensive so i'm having my annual mot so basically i'm gonna get a haircut because my hair i feel like it's getting out of control it's if it would have fallen down i would have killed myself it's getting out of control i know i need the volume again and the layers so we're doing that and i do want to go ginger ish not too light not too orange i want like a brownish ginger color i feel like for spring and summer it's gonna be so cute but we'll see how that goes because i do have a lot of box dye in my hands so moving on to my base which is my favorite thing to do i'm gonna use the nars pot concealer this is in the shade chandelier light like one if you got acne or if you got like any spots or pigmentation this is gonna be your best friend because you can just whack it on oh well you kind of have to blend it just blend it out and then that's all you need you could just whack that on and then a little bit of blush and you're done but me my face is kind of like red-ish all over so i do do a light layer of this first and for me it's all or nothing so i'm either just gonna do a full face or i'm gonna do nothing because there is no point for my liking and my makeup anyway if you got nice skin i'm not talking about you you can do whatever but me i'm insecure <laughs> so i need to cover up sometimes not always but sometimes i just need to I've been loving the MAC Studio Radiance lately. This foundation is gorgeous. I'm in the shade NC10 and it's perfect. It's a little bit darker. I'm usually an NC10 in MAC, but this formula, I feel like it runs a little bit darker than the foundations they have. But it's just so lightweight, but just so beautiful on the skin. And I know if you're quite oily, you might not like it and if you do want to cover just with it it's not gonna cover it's a medium coverage just not full that's for sure it's probably like a light to medium and i like applying it with a mac beauty sponge as well i feel like it applies perfectly well anyway that's my update on my hair i don't know if i'm actually gonna go through with it but i probably will because life is too short and summer is coming and i want ginger hair for the summer so what are you gonna do yeah, i'm going to greece i'm gonna go see all my friends my family it's been a year since i've been there and that is criminal full-time job not enough holidays tickets are so expensive there's only so much you can do it sucks but i guess this is not gonna be forever for concealers i have a few favorites that have been going back and forth um so we have mac for longwear concealer this has been a favorite since i was in high school it's been there is doing his job is great the only thing i don't like is the pump but i get that it can oxidize that's why they do the pump i've been also loving the mac 24 hour city fix concealer i used to hate it but then i wore it yesterday and i was not mad at it this is an nw24 which is so dark but because my foundation is a little bit darker anyway i can get away with it and it's a pink tone if you want to highlight and cover under your eyes use a pink tone concealer because if you just use a yellow tone it's just gonna brighten it without covering it's just gonna emphasize what you want to cover and then my all-time favorite the nars radiant creamy concealer i'm completely out of it so i don't even know why i'm keeping it just a little bit the tiniest bit that's all we need and um, we're gonna blend it i've been it really into reading for the past year 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 and a half i probably say and as you can see my collection has gotten so much bigger and i love it i didn't think i could fall in love with reading in my 25 years of age not 26 now guys it's great like it's escapism i don't even want to like do anything else with my free time all i want to do is sit and read a good book and before you come for me i don't read all these classics biographies self-help books you would never catch me with one of those maybe with a classic if i ever get into classics all i want to read is about fantasy and fairies and dragons and romance that will never happen in real life because it's fiction if you don't like reading you probably haven't found what you would like and i found that out in my 25 years of age so with blushes i go back and forth depending on the mood i'm in so i always use the rare beauty in the shade hope this is my go-to favorite blush 
ever. Nothing can top this one. I love also the Refi Rose blush. It's a little bit more pinky. It's not as dark as the Rare Beauty one. Powder blush. This will be my all-time favorite. It's New Romance by MAC. It's like a light pink but with a little bit of a shimmer. Perfect. I do really like the Kylie one in the shade Winter Kiss as well. But that's a lot more of a cool tone blush. So I'm not really feeling that today. I've tried coral blushes, mauve blushes. But they're not me. They're cute for like occasions. But for every day, I will always choose a pink blush. Without fail. So I'm really feeling refined today. If you've not tried these, they're so... It's a really nice rosy warm pinky kind of color and i do like quite a lot of blush my sister always bullies me for that but i don't care i do kind of put it like under my eye as well i love that sunkissed blushy look i do quite a lot of my nose as well i'm just obsessed with blush because look at how cute this side looks compared to this one make sure you pat it don't swipe it because you could move the foundation or anything you really don't want that and that is the first layer of blush because we're going to go back in with a powder in a bit yes so make sure your concealer is blended before you go in with powder i've been going back and forth but i do really like the charlotte tilbury powder with a big brush this mac 240s brush oh, stunning for powder and i feel like this is my holy grail powder in the Charlotte Tilbury, you kind of ate with these. And then I set slightly on the areas that I know I get oily and my makeup tends to move quite a lot. And then while the rest of my face has no powder, I'm going to go in with a MAC Fix Plus to kind of blend all the liquids together. I love this. Plus the smell is so nostalgic. Like I used to use that when I was 17, religiously. If you think that all my products are MAC, it's because they are because they used to work for MAC. So naturally, like, my whole collection is MAC. But you know what? I feel like deep down, I will always be a MAC girl. I can't help it, you guys. Like, they've got some really good products. Huda Beauty translucent powder in pound cake. Best thing to ever exist in the powder world. And with a little powder puff, slightly sent under my eyes. I've had this powder since October 2022 when I went to Paris. And look at it. Like, it's still going. And I used it every single day for a year. You get so much in it. It's worth every single penny. I'm going to go back to the Charlotte Tilbury with a big brush and slightly just dab everywhere. I used to go ham on powder. Like I used to pack it on. But I've realized my skin is getting a little bit drier. And I feel like I don't need it as much. It stays a lot better without so much powder. Going in with a little bit of bronzer now. This is the Kiko Flawless Fusion Bronzer Powder in the shade 05. If you're a pale girl like me, Kiko bronzers are the ones that go. And I do use the Refi brush to apply. I really like this. But I only do like a tiny bit because I feel like if I do it too much, it looks orange. And then if I'm feeling like it, I'll do a little bit of a nose contour moment. We're creating a little button nose. Sometimes I'll do freckles as well. I've been loving a little bit of a freckle moment. But I don't think I'm feeling freckly today. Powder blush. New Romance by MAC. It's probably been in every single one of my videos. That's because it's the best powder blush you can get for yourself. Just on the highest points of the cheeks to give that shine and just cute little pink moment. Can you see that? That is stunning. Okay, my base is kind of eating today. Usually when I film videos, my base is never, never doing its thing, but today... We're rolling off those good vibes. We're feeling good. For my waterline, depending on the day, I will usually not do anything with it. But I have this new MAC eyeliner. And it's one of my favorite formulas. This is the Color Excess Eyeliner in Sick Tap Bro. The black one's my favorite. And now I got the dark brown one as well. So, so excited to try. Just to like make it a little bit more sultry. A little bit more sexy yeah sometimes i feel like the black is too much so i'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my inner corner i'm gonna use the etude bling bling eye stick and this is in the shade 
Wait, let me get my Korean straight. One sec. Wait, it doesn't say shade. Anyway, it's this champagne one. Cute. Then I just do a minor corner and then just drag it on my lower lash line a tiny bit. <gasps> I forgot how much I like this. I'm eating. It's not working. I'm going to do a little bit of my Rare Beauty highlight in the shade Semesmerize. Yeah, it's the pink one, but mine is broken, so I have to be really careful with it. Just on the tip of my nose. I'm kind of feeling a little bit on the eyes today. Just on the inner bit. I don't know, sometimes I get carried away with it and I just keep adding things. Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Best setting spray ever. This is a jumbo size. Hence, it's huge. My god. I just missed doing my makeup. I didn't do my makeup every single day for work, obviously because I work for MAC. And now that I work in an office, like I don't even need to do my makeup. And I kind of miss it. Just, you know, getting ready every morning. See how that set is spray? It kind of like melts everything together. And it just makes it a lot more glowy, but not greasy. Sorry, I'm trying to just use the sunlight because it was actually so beautiful this morning. But I don't know if I'm succeeding. Lips. I have been using Whirl Lip Liner by MAC on every single one of my videos for the past few months. I liked nothing else. It was my go-to, but I'm back now with my browns. I got this one yesterday and I actually really like it. It's the Kyla Cosmetics Precision Pout Lip Liner in the shade Cinnamon. It's a lot darker than I would usually go for. It's quite dark brown, but let me show you. I always like to overline so and round my cupid's bow. And it does help if you put lip balm beforehand so it kind of blends with a lip liner. So it's still quite brown, but it doesn't look harsh in my opinion. And then I'm gonna do Thanks It's MAC by MAC. It's been my favorite lipstick for a while. It's that perfect nude pink. I think it mixes really well with that lip liner as well. Eating. I think it looks so cute. So that is my updated makeup routine video. It was so nice to like sit down and catch up a little bit and just do a good old get ready with me video because I used to love doing those and I love watching those as well. So I will have all the products linked down below. And if I do have a discount code for any of the sites, I will also leave it down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you very soon in my next one.